Hello students, I am Professor Samir Sabarwal and uh, this is my lecture number 6 of Organic Chemistry and today I am going to teach you distinction between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So uh, regarding lower classes and for uh, BSc classes this topic is very important by means of distinction we are able to differentiate different types of alcohols the first test with the help of which we can do this distinction is victor mears test now what we do in victor mears test see this is a chart showing primary alcohol secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohols right rch2oh functional group is oh we treat it with phosphorus iodine definitely phosphorus reacts with iodine to give us pi3 undoubtedly nucleophilic substitution reaction in case of alcohols is less favorable okay because which negative is not a very good living group which negative is a strong nucleophile so it is difficult to replace OH negative but what we do it with the pi3 it's favorable with the pi3 which replaces OH negative with i negative to get idoalkanes so you can see the first change that by treating RCH2H with phosphorus iodine we get RCH2I whenever we want to get something we generally go through haloalkanes because haloalkanes have halide group which is a very good living group and we simply call Hello alkanes as synthetic tools in the hands of a chemist. Now, once we get RCH2I iodoalkane, we go for nucleophilic substitution reaction second time. First was also nucleophilic substitution, now second time nucleophilic substitution. We replace which negative, sorry, we replace I negative with NO2 negative. We get nitroalkanes. You can see this reaction silver nitrite uh, in aqueous and alcoholic medium for nucleophilic substitution we get RCH2NO2 now this nitroalkane is a very special molecule nitro group is a withdrawing group due to its withdrawing nature it is easier to remove the hydrogen of alpha carbon right a very very important chemistry I, I just I'm trying to find some space see I have R CH2 NO2 right very important chemistry this is a strong withdrawing group in the if I if I consider this molecule then I, I just want to tell you that if I shift this sigma bond here and pi bond here right then I get R C H double bond N O negative coordinate bond O okay if you see this so I just want to show uh, there is no need to put arrow like this it's a equilibrium case fine and this shows tautomerism right this is a case of tautomerism 1 comma 3 migration because of acidic position okay now some is why this hydrogen is removed because after the removal we get anion right which is stabilized due to resonance let me make it more clear negative sign right 
तो जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन दैट नाइट्रोल केन्स प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दे हैव एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन ऑन एल्फा कार्बन या ना यू कैन सी देर आर टू एल्फा हाइड्रोजन टू एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन इफ आई टेक सेकेंडरी नाइट्रोल केन देर इज वन एल्फा हाइड्रोजन एंड इफ आई टेक टर्शरी नाइट्रोल केन देर इज नो एल्फा हाइड्रोजन सो केमिस्ट्री इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हेयर वी कैन डिस्टिंग्विश आर सी एच टू एन ओ टू वन डिग्री नाइट्रोल केन दिस इज टू डिग्री नाइट्रोल केन एंड थ्री डिग्री नाइट्रोल केन विद दिस टेस्ट ऑल्सो राइट सो बाई डूइंग विक्टर मीयर टेस्ट वी आर एबल टू डिस्टिंग्विश प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शियल कोहल इन एडिशन टू दिस वन डिग्री टू डिग्री एंड थ्री डिग्री नाइट्रो एल्केन्स सो एनी हाउ वी ट्रीट अल्कोहल विद फॉस्फोरस आयोडाइड टू गेट आयोडल केन एंड द न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन इज फेवरेबल इन केस ऑफ आयोडल केन वी ट्रीट इड विद सिल्वर नाइट्राइट इन एल्कोहलिक एक्वास मीडियम दैट इज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन कंडीशन फॉर न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन एंड वी गेट नाइट्रो एल्केन्स एंड इन नाइट्रो एल्केन्स वी हैव एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन because after the loss of h positive structure is stabilized carbon 9 is stabilized is a carbon ion which is stabilized by resonance now if we treat this molecule with a nitrous acid okay you can check there are two acidic the easiest way to remember for your level two hydrogen will react with the oxygen see h2o because both hydrogens are acidic will come out to give us double bond c double bond noh this is known as nitrolic acid nitrolic acid is that right now special feature of this molecule is when we treat it with base we get blood red coloration okay so you take a test tube go for the test treat alcohol we have three test tubes in first test tube we have say primary alcohol we treated with phosphorus iodine we get idyl canes then treated with the silver nitrate to get nitro alkanes then treated with nitrous acid right and uh, we get uh, nitrolic acid which on treatment with base gives us blood red coloration exactly you have got a good information about the secondary alcohol same treatment phosphorus iodine then with silver nitrite ethanolic water medium nitrous acid we get pseudo nitro which in the presence of base gives us deep blue coloration okay so very very good way to distinguish primary and secondary alcohols then if we have uh, tertiary alcohols go for the same procedure but after treatment with the silver nitrate silver nitrite i suppose I'm sorry to say silver nitrite एच ई एन ओ टू है ये ओके देन ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विद नाइट्रस एसिड देर विल बी नो रिएक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ एबसेंस ऑफ एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन सो दिस इज हाउ वी डिस्टिंग्विश प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी एल्कोहल बाई मीन्स ऑफ इफेक्टर मीयर्स टेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो गुड टेस्ट टू डिस्टिंग्विश नाइट्रो वन डिग्री नाइट्रो टू डिग्री नाइट्रो एंड थ्री डिग्री नाइट्रो एल्केन्स second important test by means of which we can distinguish primary secondary and tertiary alcohol is lucas reagent test now first of all what is lucas reagent lucas reagent is an equimolar mixture of anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated hcl now what we do in this case very basic reaction is i'm going to start with 3 degree alcohols right this is 1 degree alcohol second one is 2 degree alcohol and this is 3 degree alcohol how do we distinguish 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol you can check here oh group is attached to carbon which in turn is attached to one carbon or no carbon right so here oh is attached to a carbon which in turn is attached to one carbon or no carbon 
if OH group is attached to a carbon which in turn is attached to 2 carbon so that is why it is 2 degree and you can see here which is attached to a carbon which is 3 degree in nature means it is attached to 3 carbon so that is how we distinguish primary secondary and tertiary alcohols I need some space to make you understand this reaction I am going to rub this part fine So, it is better way out. Yeah. If I take tertiary alcohol, as I said earlier, nucleophilic substitution in alcohol is less favorable because it is difficult to remove OH negative. Why? Because this is not a good leaving group. OH negative is a strong nucleophile. So, it has lesser tendency to come out but if I compare 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol one thing which is very common and important that out of these three 3 degree carbocation is more stable this is an intermediate intermediate is a species which is formed during reaction and reaction occurs only if intermediate is formed. So this is 3 degree carbocation, this is 2 degree carbocation and this is 1 degree carbocation. Okay, just go for the basics to understand that 3 degree carbocation is a stable carbocation. Now, since in this case we are getting 3 degree carbocation which is relatively more stable. So, anhydrous zinc chloride, NHCl right react with tertiary alcohol immediately to give us turbidity means solution will become milky and uh, what happens is that this OH negative is replaced why because carbocation is stable and Cl it is replaced with Cl negative I, I tell you that undoubtedly in hydrous zinc chloride plays its role somehow zinc chloride is a Lewis acid right means it is electron deficient it combines with the lone pair of OH and it assists in removal of OH by weakening this bond the strength of this bond and it assists in generation of carbocation so you take three test tubes in one you put primary alcohol in the second you put secondary alcohol in the third you put tertiary alcohol okay then you mix anhydrous you add anhydrous zinc chloride plus HCl that is Ducas reagent and what you feel is that a tube in which turbidity appears immediately is a tertiary alcohol. Now let me give you information about turbidity. Turbidity is milkiness. Main thing is that haloalkanes are not soluble in water. So alcohol is they are much better uh, they are relatively more soluble in water than haloalkanes. Right. So, when reaction occurs and haloalkane is formed, since they are not soluble in water, so solution will become turbid. Now, if I take secondary alcohol, we have 2 degree carbocation, which is relatively less stable than 3 degree carbocation. Procedure is same. And uh, in this case, turbidity appears within 5 minutes. That confirms the presence of uh, secondary alcohol. And if turbidity is not appeared at the room temperature, mind it, we are doing the reaction at room temperature. If turbidity is not appeared at all, right, then it is definitely, it could be, it's definitely, if, if we have three types of alcohol, then it is definitely primary alcohol. Because carbocation is least stable in this case. Now, turbidity appears only on heating because otherwise the reaction is not 
feasible that heating provides activation energy that activates the reaction now sometimes what happens is this is quite feasible zinc chloride if it is not present in excess what happens is it combines with hcl because it's a lewis acid it gives us zncl3 negative plus h positive and that h positive combines with oh to make it positive plus zncl3 negative now let me tell you this is uh, a water neutral molecule and it has become a weak nucleophile or better leaving group so what will happen i i put cl like this i show substitution this cl negative will come here and oh2 will come out to give you rch2 cl and that is preferred with heating only so this is how we distinguish primary secondary and tertiary alcohol one with uh, your vectromere test and second is lucas reagent test so i will uh, discuss all kinds of groups and their tests how to distinguish between the various groups so keep listening keep subscribing Thank you very much.